We've come a very long way, my dear viewers. We have stopped and started, but now we are here. The final battle. No jokes. Let's just do this. Roll title. Let's start to begin. What is up, guys? It's Brownie of DA Games back once again with our grand finale. Hopefully. Or if not, it's just our final boss battle, but we'll see what happens when we get there. But now, it's time. After five worlds of hell, a couple of deaths, a lot of headbang wall moments, and Spyro constantly looking at me right now as he thinks, what the fuck are you doing? We got a boss fight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's time we take on Nasty Nork himself. Are you guys psyched? Are you psyched? Let's do it and just do it. Fulfill your dream of beating the game and enjoying it. <laughs> so now, it's Nasty Nork time. How bad could it be? <coughs> so there he is, Nasty Nork himself. The main villain is there, just laughing at us. Okay, so for this segment of the game, here's what you gotta do. Dodge his shots, because he's going to shut you down and such. And what you need to do is you need to go around all this level and grab the two thieves in order to get their keys to open up the next stage of the boss. Now, this boss has 500 treasure in it, so it's not going to be an easy one to try and get all of them. But our main focus is the final ones of this game. Let's get the last thieves. Because we need that key to progress. But uh, first things first, don't wor uh, go around one time and get yourself the treasure. Then focus on the thief to grab the key. Now, a little tip I can give you. Once you grab the key, don't be afraid to go back along the route where the thief normally would be. And just grab your treasure. That's the simple tip I can give you. Now, this boss itself, as you can see, it's not a trick. It's not a gimmick. But uh, what you need to do is this key will not work on Nasty Nork's platform. You have to use it on this door here. And what's stopping him from shooting me again? <laughs> he could just shot me with my back turn and then this game over instantly. There we go. Right. Simple boy. We got him before even one lap was done. Sweet. I am awesome. <laughs> okay. So what can you expect in this boss fight? Well, if you call it a boss fight, it's not much. But... Once you've grabbed yourself the- Oh, that was close. Nearly missed that one and that would have annoyed me to brink. Okay, use this key to open up the next platform and this is where the boss fight truly begins. You chase after Nasty Nork as fast as your little legs can go. But as I said before, if you want to 100% this level, make sure you go around and grab every single one of these gems as you're running around. The tip I can actually give is force Nasty to run around and then just wait at the start where you basically met him. Because what he does is he does one full lap, he does one shot at you, and then he goes back around and does the loop again. So you can't hurt him on the loop round. You have to get him when he's standing on the platform where you can actually hit him. Now, this boss itself is actually a bit... If I can be bluntly... Obvi uh, bluntly... Um destructive about it it's not a great final boss because in the concept of what you're going through and I like to point this this final boss has less hits on him than his minions do his minion bosses in other words um, in other words toasty metalhead Jacques dr. Shemp and um, blowhard all have more hits than he does but when he's on that platform, barbecue him, and you get yourself a 25. And now, this is it. The last bit of the game. He has the last 100 once we kill him. Here's what happens. The moment you get through this segment, glide yourself through and glide and just get over these platforms. The platforms are constantly sinking into the wall. Your job is get to the end before they all disappear. If they all disappear, you're in that lava and you have no way back up. But, there we go! This is it! Last hit! Bring it on, Dr Bring it on, Nork! Come on, come on! Just utilize the roll! See? The dodge roll's gonna end you! Simple put, you could just... Hey! 
None of that! But yeah, he can't kill you in one hit, but that's it! You're toast, Nork! <laughs> and that's it! That's it, that's done! Two hits! Sorry, I took so long. I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> what about oh, Ganasty Gnork? Nasty Nork is toast. So now there's order again in the dragon. <laughs> the sheep. <laughs> well, <mostly. laughs> I love this. Still got some treasure to pick up. Ah! What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. So basically, that's the ending you get once you beat Nasty Nork. So it isn't too much to look at on this one. But uh, there are some credits we're going to have to deal with. Oh, God damn it, Nathan. Why'd you come up now? <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right. Uh, so basically put, we still have one dragon to get before this game is fully done. So. We'll leave the credits for when we do the final. Uh, actually, I say we can leave these in for the moment. I think it's great that we appreciate this. So, while these credits are going, allow me to give you my um, constructive bits on this game. Spyro 1 is a, is a very great nostalgia game, and it's great to come back to every single time and such. Even now, I still enjoy playing it. Um, as you can see, the credits are showing off all the worlds, so if you missed any of them, be sure to check out the playlist so you can see the rest of them and such. But, um... What can I say about this game? It's just really awesome. It hasn't aged as much as Spyro 2 and 3 has, but it still shows you that fantastic start to where it goes. That's why if you ever go back and you ever want to play any of these games, feel free to play the original Spyro... Ah, Stuart! That was it. I thought it was, St I thought it was Steve or Steven. It was Stuart. There you go. Shoot me in the foot. <laughs> this is now where I'm probably going to get told. But anyway... Uh, Char uh, let's see, I believe we get some voice, voice names. Yeah, there we go. Clancy Brown, who you know is um, the voice of um, uh, Dr. Neo Cortex. And I believe the second name is the voice of Rocco himself. Rocco's Modern Life, for those of you who don't know. So yeah, that's a fantastic thing. The weird thing, though, is, is it's weird to say. Oh yeah, Carlos Al 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 Azraka. That's the voice of uh, Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. Peter Kleiner, it's your fault that we have all the thank you for releasing these. But yeah. Um, the game's got good graphics for what it has for a PlayStation title, and, you know, you don't have to enjoy, like, fancy 3D graphics of, like, proper thing, like, cuts on faces and, you know, attention to scales and stuff like that. It, it, there's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, I've really got to deal with this. No sheep were hard during the creation of this game. I'd have to confirm that. A few narks. But no sheep. There's a reason behind that, by the way. Some of you guys probably don't know is the adverts had the fact of the sheep being hurt in those adverts. So that was their way of paying homage to that. Now, after you beat Nork, you're back here. But take a look. The last dragon head hasn't opened up. Why hasn't it opened? Now, I'd like to point out, I have no idea what happens if you don't release the dragon from beforehand. Whether it creates a glitch in the game or they both appear, but this dragon's in the same spot as where Delvin is. But now, let's get our last dragon. Magnus. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. So, if you've done everything correctly, that dragon should be the last one you find. That dragon there. And if we turn the camera to our left, right, now... There we go! The last level of the game. Nasty's loot. Look at that. If you've done everything correctly, 12,000 treasure and 80 dragons and 12 dragon eggs. That is all you get. Now, you may have noticed I said there wasn't a flying level. I could be slightly wrong. This is actually your flying level of the game. That's right. A flying level and a platformer is your final level of the game. And this is the biggest hall of treasure in the game. Now, here's the weird thing. Look where you're starting. We have to glide to one of these places, so let's glide over here, just because. Ah, ha, 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 ha. 
Spyro has now gained the ability to fly, ladies and gentlemen. Now here's how this level works. In this level, there are no ones, twos, or fives. The level is tens and twenty fives galore! Because I'm gonna keep this a secret so you guys can get. In fact, let's have this a small random question. If you've never played this game before, how many gems do you think are in this level? Think about how many we've done so far and the maximum and such. Let that be something to see what you guys can do. So let's see if you guys can get close. No looking up either. <laughs> but yeah, here's how this level works, by the way, for a finale. Every time you jump up the platforms, the higher you go on platforms, the higher Spyro's reach is that he can fly. He cannot fly any higher than the maximum height of the platform that you have reached, or the maximum height. So because we're jumping here, this is as high as we can go. See, I'm holding down to go up and it's not working. So basically put, you need to progress through the levels and go up the platforms to go higher and higher and higher. If you can beat this level 100%, you get the final ending of the game. But the thieves are back! I thought we were done with you! Nope, there's no way we're done with these little bastards. Which is why I'm gonna try and grab him. Oh, come on, that was, that was a hit. This might take a while. Hey, oh, one last headbang. Come here, little TV. Oh! He ran into us! <laughs> I'm gonna give you the key! He surprised me! I generally thought he was gonna run the other way! Why did he do that? But yeah, take a look, guys. Look at the levels. Uh, look at the look at the thing so far. We're at 350! And we're still going up! So now that we're that high up on platforms. Oh shoot, I didn't get it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back to that height of level uh, height, height again. So next key there. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoy. I hope you guys have enjoyed this playthrough. I've enjoyed playing it for you guys to see and stuff. So I'm hoping you guys are willing to take an interest in the other Spyro games because you know it's a great bit of fun. Anyway, over here for the next key. Banzai! Oh, that 25 fell out and I didn't get it. Oh, you sneaky. All right, and because we need to show off this skill one last time, let's do it. Oof. Shoo! Boom! Headshot! <laughs> I am gonna miss that because they never let you do that in Spyro 2 ever again. That's why I always enjoy this game for those little perks. Okay, so take a look. The total is still gonna up there is the final uh, warp point of the game, by the way, guys. So if you're going to try and make your way to everything, that's where you need to go. Alright, so. Open up this door here for your next day. When did you grow wings? Did you take Red Bull again? <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> I never was a fan of Red Bull. I never have been. All right. So for this little segment, now what we need to do is take out the thief. Now the thief it can only be grabbed at certain points. But uh, but first of all, let's do this. Activate that rocket. Come on, come down, come down. There you go. So that activated that one there. So let's see if we can try and grab our thief. Come here, come on. I'm a dragon. There's no way it would lose to it. There we go. <laughs> Very dead. Going down, going down. <laughs> now open up this one to activate the next one. Now here's what happens. This is the last key door we need to find. There's our last thief. You guys ready to try in this? So let's do it. Now this is the probably the I fucked up my peas. So for this little one, this is gonna take a little while, so it may need a little bit of a a little bit of an edit on this one if we can't seem to get it. But um, the idea of this one is you can't go backwards on this one because he's just too uh, he's just too quick in that plane to go backwards and such. You need to cut him off at the corners as best you can. Don't worry if you go get him on the first try, because I don't think there is a way you can, or if there is, please tell me and, you know, shut me up. This is going to take a while, because he doesn't fucking slow down, which is annoying. But he has the last key, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. So, let's do one last question of the video, guys. Um, here's the last question to mention on Spyro and stuff like that. Here's what we got. So, 
obviously these thieves here are being annoying. There we go, we got him! So the thieves are really annoying in this game. Which enemy annoys you the very most in any one video game? Alright, so before we carry on, and before we activate the last bit, we're going to unlock all these chests. You know, you need me to open up the chests for you guys. <laughs> no, don't get the wrong idea. And I beat the rocket! Rocket, 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 rocket! That's right, a rocket. Now take a look there. Hope you guys uh, hope you guys have been still paying attention to what number you wanted to end this on, because if some of you guys said a thousand, it's looking very likely right now, isn't it? I mean, look at all this moolah! Look at all this fucking lag! I don't even know what's going on. My apologies on this one. Okay, so I think... Yeah, look at that! 940! So if you guys said a thousand... I... Sorry, I thought my uh, I thought my phone was going off then. 950. So it's looking like a thousand is going to be the ending, right? No, it's not. But once you get unlocked that key, you open up the whole level for your criteria to search. Fly over here, and here is your end goal. But we're not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. The Molar. 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 Halmar. So let's go see that ugly mug one last time. I mean, look at that. Ugh, kill it again. Kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. So now we're going to set this off with a bang. So let's bring the countdown. All right, I should probably back away before I barbecue. So three, two, one. <gasps> Run away. Run away. Mula for everyone. <laughs> Look at this! I'm in the jackpot! Ching! <laughs> Got dollar signs for eyes or whatever these is. Gems and everything! So everyone, hope you guys had your values because this is it. This is actually the last of the gems if we've done this right. So what was your total? Did you have a thousand or did you have more? Here we go! Did we get them all? Two thousand gems! That is it! No more! This is the end of the game! That's it! One last cutscene! Give me my medal, I done good! <laughs> Pyro the dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the dragon kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. <laughs> run, Nork, run! I wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his... <laughs> Go, Thomas. Go, Thomas. Go, Thomas. Go, Thomas. Here we go again! Now, despite that cutscene, I'd like to verify that you do not play any more of this game ever again. That is the last level of the game, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. That is Spyro 1 for you all. So that is officially how this ends. I know, one last cutscene and two dragons getting turned to crystal, so it approves. Yeah, what a time for a burp. <laughs> but yeah, if anything, guys, Hope you guys have enjoyed the show. It's been a blast playing this for you guys. Hope you guys have had a lot of laughs and a lot of fun while watching this. Been inspired to maybe try this out for yourself. Or you feel really, really old when playing a game that was released back in. Because I certainly do. By the way, it's the same cutscene. It's the same credits, just different level backgrounds all over again. So we can pretty much wrap it up with this. So guys... Tune in next time. I, I can't say that one because we're done with Spiral 1. We are not touching this game. And purposely, I don't see a reason why I could play it again. <laughs> so, tune in next time, guys, when I'm going to see about trying to get, finish off Mario and Luigi when I get round to that one. Otherwise, probably, if you're watching this in the very far future, Mario and Luigi's probably already done or near the end or something like that. Or But I'm going to have a lot more games for you guys to try out. In fact, I'm going to try my luck to get a couple more... Probably done when this is all um, all said and done. 
So guys, hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been an absolute blast. And I hope you guys have had a job. I guess you could say this game is a real gem to play. Eh, one last bad pun. <laughs> okay, guys. So, this is Brownie of DA Games closing the chapter on Let's Play Spyro 1. Hope you guys had a fun, and I'll see you all for the next game. So, one last time, guys. Catch you all later. Goodbye. Yahoo! <laughs>